What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ace Attorney with a Real Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joining once again by our voice actor, Wes. What's up, everybody? And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Good evening, or whenever, or whatever time of day you're watching this. <laughs> uh, we are starting here now with the first trial day of the third case, uh, Turnabout Samurai in which we will almost certainly be convincing the court that an old lady's testimony cannot be trusted. Let's get into it. <laughs> <clears throat> the court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. Is it? <laughs> Guess what? You about to get dunked on. <laughs> the evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm. I see. Very well. I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Wright, you can shut up. You don't get to do anything else. I, now, again, Wes, you play more <laughs> just, of these games. He I never, just want one game to let me have an opening statement. <laughs> he never has one, right? I don't remember him ever getting an opening statement. The only, the only thing Phoenix Wright ever gets to say is, I'm ready, Your Honor. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Poor guy. Mm -hmm. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. I, I feel like Edgeworth has got to be really, I feel like it's really good that this is a jury, that there's no like jury cases. I feel like every jury would hate Edgeworth. Probably. Like, they, I, they, would decide people, they would decide people not guilty just to smite how cocky Edgeworth is about everything. <laughs> but he is pretty, he is very pretty. Mm. He, yeah, that is true. So I guess, <laughs> you, you get, <laughs> So either the jury will be completely seduced by him, yeah, or they're going to hate him for being an insufferable prick. Now it depends. <laughs> they, they could also just hate Phoenix Wright and his spiky hair, which for some reason everybody in this universe does seem to hate. That's true. They're like, "Oh, get out of here, porcupine head." <laughs> First, I would like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. I believe it's pronounced Gumpha. <laughs> yeah, from now on, I can't not hear him being called hey, Gumpha. Hey, Gumpha. <laughs> Detective Gumpha, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio. See? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. Security lady that works at the studios was here at 1 p.m. on that day. Hello. <laughs> Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on to the day of the murder, October 15th. There were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day. I'm sitting at home, right? You know, my wife is really riding me. <laughs> the old ball and chain. <laughs> you know what I mean? Come on. Uh, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. Production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. 
samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. As the case, in brief. I, I also find it funny that apparently this show didn't use a prop spear. Oh, it's... They use an actual capable of murdering someone spear in this show, which just seems reckless. I will say this, as somebody who has handled a lot of, uh, you know, prop weapons. Spears. Uh, <laughs> spears in my lifetime. Uh, it, it would be difficult to have a spear made out of metal that would have like such a dull end. Uh, that you couldn't thrust it really hard. Like, like even, uh, Wes, I think in college, we both were in shows where we handled, like, rapiers. And yeah. the, the points of those were legitimately sharp. Like, if if you really, especially the way, like, they, they you know, they, they use leverage. Like, if you purposely stab somebody, you could stab somebody. That's uh, fair. That's fair. But, yeah, I agree. Especially, he's got a whole costume on, everything. It would be pretty difficult to to stab a man with a prop. Yeah. Weapon. Especially like skewer him. To fa- yeah, to fatally kill him would be very impressive. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, Gumshoe's turned. He <laughs> he's turned into the owl from Ocarina of Time right now. So be very careful because he's oh, get- anyone, anyone like to hear? Like- <laughs> no, she- no, oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. Oh no, I'm in now. Fuck. Would not to like unrehear that almost maybe again. <laughs> anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that oh, whole God. thing again? Oh, God. Okay, I told you it's happening! Uh, it's really tempting, but I'm gonna skip it. I think I can probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval! Hey, look at that. The murder weapon is finally in the court record now. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, I'm going to tell you, here it comes. <laughs> Drum roll, please. What did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call the security officer to the stand. Boy. Her face there. <laughs> Will the witness declare her name? Oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they used the extra time breaks for that. You, your name, please. <laughs> Oh, dearie, no need to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Now, <laughs> see, I wouldn't know. I don't want to call you Grandma, considering what you just said to me. Yeah, who flirts with somebody and then asks to go by Grandma? <laughs> <laughs> Your name, please! <laughs> Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. The old bag, dearie. Just, so just call me, you when I was young and old bag. So the other children would make fun of me and just be, believe it, but there's his body. The captain just, he called me old bag as well and just cried and cried. Objection. <laughs> I object to the witness's talkativeness. <laughs> Objection is just bad. I love that Edward just objected to his own witness. I love that he just objected. Just to get them to shut up. And the judge agreed. <laughs> The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. God damn. I was just getting to the good part, <laughs> dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, see, I was. That's a weird wording on that. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. Uh, really quick, Lizard in the chat says, Can a judge ask a witness to stop rambling? Oh, totally. Yeah, I imagine they say, stay on topic or, you know. Yeah, like that. yeah. Okay. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if, even if, even if like, a, one of the lawyers didn't object and, like, you know, ask them to stay on topic, the judge could easily just be like, yo, please stop. <laughs> yeah. The, ju- the judge can just kind of do whatever he wants for the most part, right? 
Yes. The, mm. the judge, you know, outside of ridiculously egregious things, it, this is the judge's court. They still have to obviously yeah. follow the rules, but they 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 have all the power <laughs> to yeah. a certain now, extent. You know your stuff, dearie. <laughs> You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. <laughs> Jesus. Damn. Fucking got her. She sure does have a last name that describes her character. <laughs> <laughs> On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until five. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was the spirit of my dead husband. <laughs> It was Powers! That man right there! And he was heading toward the studio! You saw the defendant then? <laughs> Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so just just go to wherever she says she saw the man and either yeah. press that or present the picture. I don't know which one it wants us to do first. There we go. Question mark, photo. Let me get this straight, old bag. Er, miss old bag. <laughs> the case where Phoenix Wright displays his ageism. <laughs> <laughs> You've been saying since yesterday that you, quote, saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. <laughs> you know. You didn't answer my question, <laughs> Mr. Wright. What the <laughs> hell is this? Miss Old Bag. <laughs> is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's powers, right? <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of, of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, <laughs> Miss er, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. <laughs> oh, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised. <laughs> the prosecution would like to ask the old... Uh, the witness. <laughs> Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. I love that literally everybody in this courtroom has been like, Yo, she's old. <laughs> <laughs> This this already makes this my favorite case. Just because I love seeing that no one can handle this lady. How did you know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. I'm so surprised the people in charge of a court case want to, or want to know a lot of information. Crazy. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any good as evidence, pal. It's wild we're still here talking about it then. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. <laughs> That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, 
I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? It's almost like anybody else who was there would also know this and then could wear the costume and limp and make it look like he was the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> so he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. <laughs> God, Phrasing. Damn. Phrasing, Phoenix. Uh, Fridge, is it... Uh... Is it bad form for witnesses to squeal? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bridget, you're the one Without deciding what we do. I just start pressing here. Yeah. Because technically, she didn't show up to the, the studio till two, right? Or one or something. Trip and fall. Oh, yeah. I think he's supposed to be the steel samurai. What a laugh. So Powers sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed his boo-boo. Yeah, <laughs> I kissed it where it hurt. <laughs> I was joking. I didn't think they were going to say that. <laughs> Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was oh, the Miss old bag, I have a boo-boo. <laughs> Where was the assistant then? Or where was the assistant then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. I'll press this too. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better write this down in the court record. It's almost like something so, held together with duct tape would be hard to use as a murder weapon. Possibly <laughs> the security guard is also a medic repair woman? Secure slash security guard? Let me see what, what the updated thing. Murder weapon, a break in the shaft has been mended with duct tape. Okay. We'll just keep pressing. All right, all right. Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Really? How old is she? I mean, come <laughs> on! <laughs> Which is? Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. <laughs> anyway, that's not important. Well, see, the thing is, <laughs> it is. Well, I don't think so, and what I say goes. It's, na, 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 it's actually boo -boo. incredibly important. <laughs> <laughs> the witness did see the steel samurai, I guess. Ergo. <laughs> and it is clear that the person in the steel samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. It's not, though. Hmm, <laughs> I suppose that's right. Except that it isn't. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? <laughs> Object. Please. <laughs> Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. <laughs> 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 
The defense has a point. I hope that for every single hmm the judge has for the rest of this game, you have to keep cranking it up. <laughs> I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. It's almost like there's reasonable doubt. <laughs> what, what was that? I've never heard of that before. <laughs> we have to consider that possibility also. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? And no need to ask twice. <laughs> you yeah, dang a man. You dang skippy. <laughs> <laughs> the time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? Is that true? Okay, yeah, no, that's yeah, true. It's, it's been a while. Right. Remember, she... she says only what she knows is true. <laughs> I cannot the lie. Only the only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Again, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we just established you saw a costume that anyone could be in. No one else went there. <laughs> if they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be the Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Press that one just for yeah. me. <laughs> okay. Are you absolutely sure? Did you put their name into the Goblet of Fire? <laughs> Are you absolutely <laughs> sure? <laughs> oh, quite, quite, Sonny. And nobody suspicious looking passed by at all. Nobody suspicious looking? Right. What about nobody not suspicious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll press this one too. It just hit me. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm just saying, are you sure? <laughs> The witness has answered the question. Are you sure is good English? Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. <laughs> edgy boy. <laughs> Who's my little park champ? <laughs> <laughs> edgy boy. <laughs> <laughs> Old Windbag sure has balls. <laughs> no, I can't believe they said that. Maya, you can't say that. Look You're not that allowed face. to say that, Maya. <laughs> this is... <laughs> uh, honestly, I just need all of the words except balls photoshopped out with this photo. And then I'll balls. be happy. Balls! <laughs> <laughs> Old Windbag sure has balls. Or, well, you know what I mean. Old Windbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. Jesus Christ. Oops. Yeah, there it is. Nice. <clears throat> Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. Look at it! Photograph! <laughs> yes. God damn it, he literally did say that. <laughs> Every time it makes me laugh. <laughs> How did his eyes get so red? <laughs> what the hell is on the steel samurai's head? <laughs> this photo was taken by the camera at the gate from the studios, correct? Yes, sirree, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna start using that, that's a good insult. Right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. If this lawyer thing doesn't work out for you. <laughs> I'll let you know that I've had one whole client that's not myself. <laughs> <laughs>
This very computer printed out that photo. Note, note that on the background of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. Even I know that means it was taken at 2 p.m. on October the 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. <laughs> I'm a smart boy. <laughs> the issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. Photo number two? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Rebel, rebel, rebel. <clears throat> order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased that data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. You watch your mouth, whippersnapper! The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice! That means two people went by. There was a second cameraman on the grassy knoll. <laughs> um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Um, <clears throat> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy. Help. God, that face is so bad. <laughs> so wrong. Huh? Believe me, I, I want to, but <laughs> I don't know what this means either. Huh. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. <laughs> oh, shit. Whippersnapper? <laughs> Something the matter, Miss Holdbag? Having a Vietnam flashback? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that's right! I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate. Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. Wasting our goddamn time, old bag. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. Now, at this point, it's basically been confirmed that she has committed perjury and lied under oath. What sort of uh, punishment would she get for this? So, I mean, here's the thing. I mean, <laughs> she's old and she may have forgotten. Uh... Like, so you, you, you wouldn't immediately jump to perjury because mm. it's, you know... Yeah. Like, the, the last case, we, we clearly had, you know, the witnesses wiretapping and doing shit, and they knew they were lying, so mm -hmm. that's, like, that, that one's gonna be much more obviously perjury. This one, she might actually be able to just say that she's old and mm. thus doesn't remember shit. <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see? Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. <laughs> Miss Oldbag, this is the first I've heard of this. Of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. I mean, what's there to cross-examine? At this point, we are like, <laughs> what's we, the other person? We need the photo. <laughs> well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. <laughs> What'd you say it was a turnabout oh. for the unexpected? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guess just press her when she says that she threw out another photo. Yeah. Okay. How exactly do, de do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you 
can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. <laughs> for, for the most part? This is a murder trial, Miss Holdback. A man <laughs> is dead. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious look at Will Powers' photo, did I? But you can't tell by the look on his face because you literally can't see his face. <laughs> I think she's missing the point. Listen, if they have I a goat the me or they're bald, then I keep the photo. Otherwise, <laughs> I throw it out. i uh, just keep pressing. Well, who in the yeah, heck no. was in the photo you erased? Huh. A fanboy. A fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about in their tight jeans and their <laughs> low-hanging collared shirts and their backwards baseball caps. <laughs> One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? Quote, I locked the main gate so no one could get in. These were your words. Well, you must know there's a train that goes into the employee area. This old bag, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> the grate has been loose for a while. And hey, nobody fixed this? <laughs> Listen, it was down low and my hips hurt. <laughs> It leads outside, and, well, that's where they come in. They're like rats. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. <laughs> they're, oh, these, and... they're these teenage mutant ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> of some amphibious creature. They love pizza. I always ride their skateboards and <laughs> stop and fight against ninja and, and they fight love, against other ninjas. And they have ninja weapons with them. I think one of them, they were named after ancient Renaissance painters. <laughs> oh, and, uh... And, uh... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Would you say that they're teenagers? <laughs> K kids? So on that photo you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Real nerd-looking type. What? <laughs> order! Order! Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop them. Can't catch them. They're like roaches. <laughs> Jesus. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. <laughs> I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Yes, I'm going to accuse a seven-year-old of uh, breaking in through a grate <laughs> and then murdering a grown adult man with a fake prop weapon. <laughs> That'd be awesome, though, if that was the <laughs> twist. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Have you held it, Judge? Yeah, well, how would he know that? <laughs> it's a prop weapon. It's designed to probably be light. I said I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? <laughs> Dan in the chat says, I knew it. It was several children standing on each other's shoulders inside the Steel Samurai costume. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, I was waiting. That. I was hoping we had a chance to make that joke. Was, that's what I thought, too. I fucking love <laughs> Children in a trench coat jokes. <laughs> and together they murdered <laughs> Jack Hammer. Oh, listen, it was it was several steel samurai costumes and one child that did it. <laughs> I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. <laughs> I mean, they have a pretty decent point. Yeah. I, I do think it'd be kind of difficult for a second grader to murder a man. <laughs> Even with a prop spear? I'd like to take a five-minute recess. 
I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. I mean, can we get this fucking child on the stand? <laughs> like, <laughs> Do it. Mr. WP? Yes? Tell me straight. Were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? To the studio? I was sleeping, honest. So, who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. Really? So, so where does this leave me? doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are we gonna do? First, we play for more time. <laughs> we'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Or convinced within reasonable doubt that he didn't do it, but sure. Right. <laughs> we still have very loose proof that it was him. Okay, I've got a list of suspects. We've got aliens, Bigfoot, the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> right, but if we pick the, the wrong... red white. <laughs> but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. Again, that's not really how that would work, but... Not how that works at all. <laughs> you... You don't sound very optimistic. Hey, Nick, it's time. To duel? Uh, <laughs> to duel. <laughs> okay, let's go. <sighs> Does that mean, please don't sigh like that? <laughs> the court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? The prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence. Stop, that's it. That, that, but no. there is still no, no one else who could have committed this crime. That it's last sentence, it, that, that's it. The photo still isn't hard evidence, so yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Fucking suck, Edgeworth. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Mr. Wright, your thoughts? I really wonder if we're uh, gonna... Yeah, the, the prosecutor just admitted he has no hard evidence, so uh, <laughs> we get to go home now, right? Because <laughs> he I... just admitted he has no hard evidence. I will be amazed if we can get through this trial alone without Wes blowing his voice out doing more hmms for the judge. <laughs> the defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. They literally don't have hard evidence. <laughs> there is another person who could have committed the crime. The ten-year-old boy. <laughs> Order! Interesting. Let's hear who you have in mind. However... Be aware that this court does not look kindly on accusing the innocent. Then why are you accusing so my that client? does every case? Neat. <laughs> if you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalized. Right. Great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So, who was this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? Are these uh, technically, I feel like all three of these hypothetically, but I feel like all three of these are terrible options. Yeah. I mean, the assistant girl is the most logical because mm. I feel like she's the only person who could thrust a prop spear through a man to kill him, mm -hmm. but and she also has access to everywhere, so like that's yeah. I feel bad because I don't think she did it. <laughs> Yes, we're, we're stalling for time. Uh, I do. Th I, I will say, 
I think there's... They said something about no one else walked past, so the assistant was in the employee area and never left. Oh, she was in the employee area? Okay. Yeah. yeah. And, if, and if she would have left the employee area, it would have been caught on camera gotcha. to go to Studio One. And then just yeah. accuse the security lady for shits and giggles. All right. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Who? You. The steel samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? Whippersnapper? Order! Order! Is this true, Old Bag? Old Bag? That's Miss Old Bag to you! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume, then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. Why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? It's not even, it's, it's so obvious, Judge. Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes the second, baby. Fuck off, Phoenix. <laughs> Just fuck off. <laughs> That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? An updated autopsy updated report? Autopsy <laughs> report. <laughs> Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. <laughs> what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it? Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit. Don't just sit there. Do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way. Oh, the what? Give <laughs> Granny a break. Give Granny a break. Are, are we gonna give Granny a break? Yeah, do it. I, I, don't, I don't think she did it. <laughs> I guess this does kind of make it look like she's the killer. Funny, I feel bad for her all of a sudden. <laughs> 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 True that the witness could conceivably have committed this crime. Yet we must not forget that the victim was an action hero. As formidable as her personality may be, I doubt she'd be strong enough. Uh-oh. If he removes her from consideration, that means Mr. Powers is it. Sorry, Windbag. That works. <laughs> Sorry, Windbag, but I don't have a choice. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions that day. But why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forget that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Someone finally brought up motive in these games. <laughs> it's the like first right? time someone's actually gone into motive and how none of the ones before this ever had... I guess, no, the first case did because it was a jealous ex-boyfriend, mm. and that's always motive. But, like, that's my thing. No one ever brought up motive in the last case. Yeah. Like, why Maya would kill her... Like, why Maya would kill her sister and why you would kill your boss. Yeah. yeah. They <laughs> never discussed motive. Not I'm, glad, I'm glad we haven't forgotten about it. <laughs> Oh, God, okay. <laughs> Your mic's like not even picking No, it, it literally goes like, <laughs> boop, it like pops in with just you hitting the note and then cuts out instantly. <laughs> Indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. It's Old Bag, not Windbag. No hard feelings, I hope. 
<laughs> Just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler, though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? That doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds. Top! Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? You be so sure? Oh, is it to, is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day? Whippersnapper! <laughs> oh, my favorite national holiday. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I have proof. Oof! Indeed? Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. You have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? This supposed to be the, the badge? <laughs> My no, no, the, the, the security yeah. ID card? The scene of the murder, as we all know, was Studio One. However, you need a card key to enter Studio One. How could a boy with no formal relation to the studios have a card key? I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? Nah. The windbag. Speechless. This has got to be a first. I've knocked the wind out of her bags. <laughs> Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness, Miss Windy... Uh, what was her name? Something old bad, Your Honor. <laughs> oh my God. Damn. Everyone just, hates this. Just lady. the absolute disrespect, and she's still standing right there. I know. She's like, hey. Then the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. And that is all. The court is adjourned. <laughs> Phoenix, you did it. You deflated her balls. Uh oh. But wait a second! I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree! Me! I'm talking! <laughs> oh great, stop Can't that. get over this Maya face! <laughs> it's really gonna... oh. <laughs> oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Old Bag, what is this about? Have you omitted something from your testimony? <laughs> Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. N not to talk about? By whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told her not to talk? Well, testify. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? Oh, I mean, in that case, they must be innocent. <laughs> so they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. <sighs> Miss Oldbag, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. Do you? You hear that, Edgeworth? I do everything I'm told. Oh, God. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I just want to hear, like, a, a Goku power-up sound, then. <laughs> Witness the power of the old bag. Ah! <laughs> I mean... We were just... Uh, they were... Okay, yeah, press. Yes. <laughs> who were they? Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. Oh, shut up, Edgeworth. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course! 
Right, why didn't you see it before, you idiot? <laughs> yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2? But Phoenix? <laughs> The map has three whole buildings in it. <laughs> there's literally there's well, only if... there's only five pieces of evidence so far in this entire fucking case. Are you telling me you can't remember one of them? Yeah, Phoenix, you're in for a rough time if this is the case that's dumping <laughs> you, because eventually we're gonna get like twenty pieces of evidence. Yeah. Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Is that supposed to be a monkey? Uh, Didn't look like one. <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... It's pointless until we find out... Uh, here, click continue just in case. I, I feel like none of the last two things she said at any point, but mm. just click continue. Yeah, what does that mean? Miss Oldbag, this is a trial for murder. I know that, silly. Still, they were pretty convincing about having nothing to do with it. They said so. <laughs> and they gave and they gave me a little bonus on the side. You admitted to being bribed to very much commit perjury in court. <laughs> yes, see, this one's probably going into the perjury right? <laughs> <laughs> So you got your bonus, and you still talked. Hmm, I think I've asked all the questions I have to ask. Yeah, fuck it, now just take a break. Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold it that it is simply impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. That was actually a pretty good <laughs> lawyer statement there. Guilty, then go ahead and declare that. Um, I ain't gonna complain. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag. And more information about these other people we have just been told of. Why is he so mad? I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. Court is adjourned. Smack. Nice. Got him. Got him. Freaking, freaking got him, guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Aw, oh, really, it's nothing. Oh, or should I? <laughs> we'll be going down to the studios to do some more investigation. We have to find more about this director and producer. We'll be turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick... Have we figured out just who it was in the Steel Samurai costume? Could it really have been Old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Y yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old Windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points in there with my, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get down to the studios. Right. To visit you soon. Thanks. Thanks, guys. <sighs> <sighs> nice day one complete. complete.
I did promise that we'd watch the Phoenix Wright the Incompetent video. Thank you for doing that. You have it backwards. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? I'm, I'm pretty sure I obtained it the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy report was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to death from a blunt object. Objection! Your Honor! The defense oh, yeah, objects the to the immediate introduction of this new evidence. <laughs> Allow me to finish, Mr. Wright. We have not been given notice, let alone opportunity to review this updated autopsy report. Further, as this court is aware, the defense must have the opportunity to assess this report's veracity and accuracy, including by questioning the examiner who prepared it. Uh, baseless conjecture, ergo... Mr. Edgeworth does presenting this updated autopsy report without warning, let alone in the middle of trial, not violate my, con my client's constitutional rights. <laughs> well, uh... Mr. Wright? That is a lucid, intelligent, well-thought-out <laughs> objection. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> <laughs> the court accepts this evidence into the record. <laughs> Your Honor, the defense wishes to preserve the record of this objection for appeal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's very good. It's very good. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> Yeah, man. I remember the, the one time I've ever had to go to court was for like a car insurance thing. And the woman who was the judge, the presiding judge at the time was doing a bunch of like public, sh like dumb things like that. And that's, that's most of your job if you're in a, you know, a county court. Mm. Yeah. And I was so sad because she seemed so nice and smiley. And she was. She was very nice and smiley. And then some guy fucking got up there and started being an asshole to her and just like contradicting her and talking over her. And she eventually just got really upset and was just like, you know what? We're done. Get out of here. Like, you, wow. no, we're not doing this. Yeah. And then I was next. Oh. And I was like, oh, come the fuck on. Why? Oh. That's so. Yeah. And she was just like, all right, what are you doing here? And I was just like, no, you were really nice. Oh, really that nice super sucks. <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. That's so unfortunate. Uh, and I, it was, it, it, again, I, I said what I was there and it was basically like, hey, I'm here because I was supposed to, I, I got arrested technically because I thought the insurance company handled this car insurance thing, but they didn't. And so I was supposed to appear in court. So I had a warrant out for my arrest. But I'm just here Yo. to like dispute. <laughs> yeah, I was like, so I'm just here to like dispute that and get my bail money back because it shouldn't have happened. That's insane. I had no idea this happened to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and she was like, so you didn't have insurance? And I was like, well, no. And she's like, okay, so that's the problem. You didn't have insurance. And then it was like, so make sure you, do you have insurance now and i was like yes she was like okay great boink and i was like well no actually i technically had insurance at the time i just didn't have the card with me so uh and but like she was just like nope go you're done and i was like damn man you were being so nice earlier damn That's <laughs> it made me so sad <laughs> uh all right well i think that's going to end it for this episode of ace attorney with a real lawyer um Thank you, everybody, for tuning in and watching this live. Uh, reminder, if you aren't, or if, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can watch this live on twitch.tv slash kingkaiser. We go live usually on Wednesdays at 7.30. Uh, this week, we did a different time. Yeah, uh, if you'd like to, please join our, our Discord. We have a link in the description down below. That will We post our stream schedule there every week, so if we do decide to change the timing of it, you'll get a notification of that. 
but we will post the edited video sometime next week. So until then, thank you so much for watching and we will be back. And I plead the fifth. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.